Whoa, welcome to Drinks with Ron. I'm Ron in a post beer fest glow. Feeling really good actually for uh, drinking a lot of beers at the beer fest. Uh, but you'll notice I don't have one. Let us rectify that as a team. Ready team? All right, I'm gonna go over the, you can't see it, but I'm going over the triumvirate of taps off to my left. I believe it'd be stage right if you follow my drift. Uh, I'm gonna get some of that Rue beer, 22, the 22 batch. This actually made an appearance at the Beer Fest, Brews and Blues, Wisconsin. Um, I took up a keg. Oh, also don't have a hat. Let's get a random hat. All right, there we go. <sighs> Wore this hat up there. So uh, yeah, I, I got paid to bring my beer. I guess that makes me finally a professional brewer. Um, they drank half of the keg, so I got to bring some of it home. Um, the guy who served it for me, the old school brewing out of Platteville, his beers are chef's kiss. Uh, the banana beer, brew nana, fantastic. And just how fitting that the locally produced brew nana is just two taps down from the locally produced brew beer from third generation brewing. But he said, yeah, every, every person that had it liked it. I said, okay, well, how many people didn't? He said, nobody. Everybody had positive feedback. I said, well, this beer was brewed to uh, be drank on a hot day. Light, slightly hazy from the rhubarb. Uh, it's my lawnmower beer. It's a good drinker. But uh, there was much, much beer left. Not only did the root beer remain unfinished, but uh, there's multiple cases still left up there. So I got a message. Well, that day I bought some on my way out the door, uh, but I got a message the other day that uh, she would like to liquidate some more of those leftover beers. So let's uh, let's take a look at my haul, huh? Toppling Goliath, Pseudo Sue, Pale Ale, fantastic. Uh, this is Bottoms Up. It's uh, Eagle Park, Eagle Park Brewing. It's a milkshake IPA, and it is not messing around when it says that. It's orange. It looks like someone melted down a, uh, a dream sickle or a push-up pop. And that thing looks and tastes like liquid push-up pop. So I had to give me some of that. Uh, Great Dane, here's a hazy mango session IPA to get every last douchey term in there. Uh, Toppling Goliath again, Dorothy's New World Lager. Quality, quality beer. I think that's actually a California Common. Great representation of that style. Ah, Shake, Chocolate Porter out of Colorado. Uh, Boulder makes Shake, fantastic beer. And you will have noticed when I removed those, more beers were revealed. Bee's Knees, it's, uh, I believe it's a honey, it's either honey ale or a honey cream, honey cream ale perhaps, but it's uh, vintage brewing. Uh, <laughs> two from Hillsboro. The uh, cream ale, Leaping Lemur, also goes under the name Just the Tails. Uh, depends on who cans it for them. Uh, also, they're blonde. And back here, for you Letter Kenny fans, Ninja Dust. Got me some of that. But I went back today and, uh, well, I take 12 pack Franz the Scotter, huh? I mean, that's just uh, as far as wheat beers go. Tyranina, The Rockies Revenge. It's a brown, uh, brown ale, barrel aged in bourbon barrels. There was a lot of this going on around 10 years ago, uh, five years ago. It was a big barrel aging thing. I cannot drink most of those. They're too boozy. They turn my stomach. The Rockies Revenge, however, very mild bourbon. I was a fan of it. Uh, point a uh, oh milkshake malt. Oh man, where's my, I thought I had a six pack of Hazy Pebbles. Oh man. Ah, oh, Derek wants to grab my Hazy Pebbles. I think I left it outside. Anyway, I'm gonna buy some more. It was a great fest. Weather was perfect for it. It, it went off perfectly. Um, 
it's weird. I, I have this thing where I don't, I don't want to sound again like a douche noozle. Like visions pop into my head. I guess we'll just say it like that. But there'll be an event or a thing that I'm constructing, whatever it should be. But like a finished thing will pop into my head, and it'll be like this vision of the future, what I have to get to. And I I've had it happen many times. Um, my backyard where I did the fire pit, I was put all the stuff in. I had this vision of this party that was gonna happen after it was all done. Uh, there was people there in my vision. Some were just random that who I didn't know. Some were specific people. Anyway, that, uh, that didn't happen when the city made me remove it all, which is part of the reason what pissed me off so much, it ruined my vision. Um, but yeah, you know, parties that like Rontoberfest, I had this vision in my head for that. We didn't quite hit it, but uh, we got close. This beer fest was to a team. I got, I assembled my beer running crew, perfect fucking team for this event. So we had to go refill the beers for all the people who were serving little tiny samples all day. Uh, you would just go around with your little tiny glass and they would put in as much as you wanted. And you got to try all of these beers. So 35 plus in all. Um, yeah, but uh, the, best, the best one of these visions, I guess we'll call it, that I ever had, uh, I was in fifth grade. This, is, this one's weird, okay? Uh, it was me. And you know how, like, I don't know if you like for this each summer when you were a kid, there was like your crew, your buddies for that summer. Well, the summer after fourth grade, <clears throat> there was a kid. We were tight all summer. That's so we hung out the whole fucking time, going up to Hardy's, getting the California raisins, figurines, trying to complete the sets. Um, yeah, we were the. That was the summer where we were tight. Um, so it's me and him coming to the beginning of fifth grade, and then there's a girl who I had never met. And I get this weird vision right then. It's through someone's eyes walking towards a car where it's me and this girl, uh, essentially like as seniors, uh, making out in this car. Okay? Totally weird, right? <laughs> well, fast forward seven and a half years. <laughs> uh, it's a senior party. And uh, I'm still friends with this girl because, you know, small town, of course, I know, I still know this guy. They're all still in my class, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but she flags me down and is like, hey, you want to go? And I'm like, well, I don't got anything. And she says, well, I do. I don't got any way to, uh, to combust it, if you follow what I'm saying. And uh, me, being MacGyver before the half-baked MacGyver smoker was a term that was coined, um, I'm the guy you tap when you need to get that combusted and into your lungs somehow. So her and I sneak off from the party, get into a car where we proceed trying to disassemble cigarettes so that we can uh, refill the cigarettes. So we're kind of like down heads together in the console, like leaning over doing this number when this guy, who I said my fourth grade summer buddy, literally walks up on us two in this car and thinks that we're making out. So it was just like, it was perfect. It was like, oh man, that thing I saw in fifth grade was him, what he was seeing and what he thought was like, nah, dude, <laughs> we, uh, we were, I mean, if you wanna go tell everybody that, I'll take it, but we are no, I'm trying to fill a cigarette with, ah, uh, anyway. <laughs> I got the shin in. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I said, maybe I sound like a weirdo. You don't gotta believe me. I rightly don't care if you do or don't believe me. I'm just saying it's a thing that happens. Uh, they don't always happen. They almost, almost never pan out the way I see them. But uh, a few times, a few times, it's come off exactly how it was in my mind. And this beer fest, Brews and Blues, was one of them. Uh, so since I got Bob Marley on the platter because it's hotter than a devil's dick on a Jamaica beach. Oh, -ee. Uh, man. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to pay it. I'm gonna have to pay it, Todd. Oh, man. I must have must have left my one. Oh, hang, hang on. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. All right. 
Here we go. I'm gonna put it in the bucket. You're just gonna have to take my word for it because I'm not turning the camera. Um, but I can't hammer a rhubarb beer because the bittery rhubarb -y taste compounds the more you hammer it. Actually, you know what? I want my dollar, fuck it. So for drinks with Ron, I'm Ron, signing off.